Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about C Sharp and Java. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, could you share some of your experiences with Java and C Sharp? Talk about just a little bit about what you like about them and what you don't like about them, pros and cons, and when to pick one over the other. So the short answer is Java is going to be is java is going to be a really really shitty beginner language but reward you later most likely quite a lot later on in your career when you're more experienced and c sharp is an absolute delight for a beginner and st stays fairly stable but has less less relevancy in the job market N not bad relevancy just less than java so basically, I feel that I, I can answer this question and I'm just going to focus on my personal experiences here because I don't really, and I will touch on what I think is the most objective viewpoint later on. But if we start with Java, so the thing that I really like about Java and the reason why I feel that it's, uh, it's a very strong candidate is number one, because of the availability of it. Like it's so widespread that it is ludicrous. It is the biggest, most widespread enterprise corporate level programming language. Odds are that every single one of your big IT favorite companies are in some fashion using it. It's not even the big, necessarily the big IT companies needs to be using it. It's like, it, it is so widespread that most of the jobs out there on the market are Java related. Usually it goes Java, C Sharp and some PHP in many cases as well are among the most established um, languages for, for job purposes. <clears throat> now, that being said though, even if Java is very established and you I mean what's nice other things that I really like about it is that I mean you have and you, you, you can kind of pick up Android immediately if you know Java because it's based on Java and that's also very nice and there are some things you can do in terms of game development if that's something that you want to do and things of this nature there is uh, in terms of positive things if, if you look at it as a positive thing, you have more flexibility as well. Like you have platform independence, you can pick your own build tools. You can use Maven, Gradle, and like there are di different tools you could pick from, etc., etc. And then you have multiple different application servers, JBoss, Firefly, Glassfish, I think, and, oh, and Tomcat, of course, which is also very nice. Personal favorite there. but. The bad part about Java is that it is such a shitty beginner experience. At least what I, that's what I think. I still think it is hard, even after working for quite some time now, to just set up a project, just to get everything up and running and like configure all of the different things that are needed, like setting up the, um, like if you're using Maven, like the POM or setting up the routing system or things like that. It's, it, there's so many different ways you can do it. And sure, you can use something like Spring to make it a little bit easier, but mm, at the same time, you know, it, 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 it's there's quite a lot of concepts and quite a lot of overhead if you ask me into just getting productive with Java and the documentation resources out there are absolutely horrendous like uh, there are such there's such a big range in quality content like if you go onto YouTube and you try to fin find good Java tutorials odds are that odds are that you're going to find some consultant usually from India who's showing you something that may be relevant that may be relevant in some fashion or and most of the time and most of the time you're going to be shown things that are not so relevant and then you go out on Google and you search for Java related content and then most of what you're going to find is different like different tutorials for different versions and different time periods of Java and you don't really know which uh, what should you follow 
Oh, well, should you use an XML-based configuration or should you use it as code? Or should you use Spring or should you just use like the, na like the native stuff? Like, and all these different examples show you different ways of doing, doing, doing these things. It's kind of like you have this, it's almost like a gradient or a range, as I said, of different time periods and different approaches in doing the same sort of things, right? And there's, it's very hard to see a red thread through what's relevant for work purposes and what's not relevant for work purposes. Well, it doesn't even have to be that, but that's basically how I feel about it. So that's, but, but like it, it's also very nice that like there's so many different JVM based languages. So if you really do learn how to work with Java, you can transition into Scala and you can transition into, I mean, clo um, uh, not closure, I mean, uh, Kotlin, for example, I mean closure as well, but like Kotlin is probably a easier transition. And then like you have, you have, well, I wouldn't say groovy. I mean, sure you can work in groovy if you want to, but I think Scala is probably an easier transition or a more relevant transition and Kotlin for sure. Anywho, let's, let's leave with Java for now. C Sharp is an absolute delight for a beginner programmer, I would say. It, the ecosystem is extremely, extremely well established. And the, well, getting up to speed and like getting productive is also, is extremely easy. Like, and I do believe that that is because Microsoft is like, you know, it's one company owning the entire ecosystem and making sure that that's a very tight ecosystem of, um, of tooling. And apart from that, I mean, if you're into games development, C Sharp is a very good candidate for for many different projects. If you want to do Unity or like things like that, and the Unity development or something like that, and yeah, and I mean, it's uh, C Sharp is basically an exact. It, it's almost a copy paste. Well, it started out that way anyway. It's evolved quite a lot since then, but it is basically a copy paste. It started out that way of Java. And that basically gives you pretty much everything that you can do in Java, but in a nicer, more well-established, like a cleaner package, if you will. With a few extra bells and whistles that are very nice as well, I would say. However, C Sharp does not have the same adoption as Java. It's not as widespread and it doesn't, it doesn't have the the same range. I mean, you can. I mean, you sure you can make an argument for F sharp, for an example, as an example, if you want to try out like a different flavor of the same sort of thing. But Java has many, many, many more things that are based on the JVM. And then uh, this is a very minor one, but I know that some people might be sensitive to this sort of thing. And that is the learning materials, like for learning just higher level concepts, such as you know, domain-driven design and best practices with OOP and things like that. Quite a lot of those learning resources and the best books are written in Java. Like the syntax and all the examples are Java based. And for an experienced programmer, that might not make much of a difference. For a junior, it might make a big difference. In C Sharp, it's, there, there's not as much of that. Java is, has like some of the, the like some of the best corporate uh, level uh, enter, uh, enterprise level developer minds and contributors. They they have written the, their things in Java, C sharp not so much. So what I want you to take away from this is that these are just my experiences working with these two platforms. And honest to God, when I was picking when I was starting out. Uh, which language I was going to start with. It stood between Java and C Sharp. And the only reason I picked Java, I swear to you, the only reason was because of the platform independence. I had this idea that, all right, I want a really universal language. So I'm going to pick Java because it can run on any platform. Now, if I got, if I could do it all over again from scratch and like start over with the knowledge I have today, I would say that I could still not make 
a objective decision between the two. Because as I said, I truly believe that I am stronger or a better developer for picking Java now, like later on now in my career, because it forced me to touch so many different things and learn so much just to figure out how to survive within that ecosystem. I did not have to do as much in C Sharp, but many of the same learnings I could have acquired. So I would say that I still stand by that. I think Java is not a great beginner language, but it rewards you later on in your career when you really know it. And C Sharp is a great beginner language that fa stays fairly stable for quite some time, but you're not for like, you, you, may, you may not necessarily get exposed to as many concepts in, in, in some areas. So as a experienced programmer, I'm very happy that I picked Java. I, if I were to go back, I wish as a beginner that I had picked C Sharp for sure. Have a great day.